タロログはいどうもフィザーです。今日はですね、オンライン英会話挑戦してみようと思います。僕はですね、トイックのチャレンジを3ヶ月で300点アップするというチャレンジをやってた,やってたんですけども、まあ、それが終わって今結果増しということで、それが終わってどれぐらい英会話能力が上がってるかどうかっていうのをチェックしてみようと思います。先にお伝えしたいんですけども、えっと、僕はねもともとトイックめっちゃ頑張る人っていうわけじゃなくてもともとは英会話メインというか海外のバックパッカー経験も、まあ、合計だと 1, 1年間ぐらいはありますし、まあ、フィリピンでの語学留学も2ヶ月あるのでそこで英会話メインに学んだこともあるので、まあ、英会話はもともとまあまあ得意な方ですむしろトイックの方が苦手って感じでしたですけど今回トイックを3ヶ月勉強してみて英会話にどれぐらい影響あるのかってことをどれぐらい上達しているのかっていうことを調べたいと思いますそのねトイック勉強する前の動画もね4ヶ月前か5ヶ月前の動画でね僕のオンライン英会話の動画上げてるのでぜひ見てみてくださいそれと見比べてみてください僕の予想ではねあれですねこうトイックって英会話に関するレッスンはほとんど行わないので自分が発声する自分が発音してスピーキングする能力っていうのはそんなに上がってる気はしないですね正直、まあ、ただリスニング能力っていうのが結構上がっててほしいなって感じです、うん、トイックってやっぱ前半半分の100問はねリスニングなので長文を聞き取ったり会話文を聞き取ることが多いのでその能力が結構上がってるんじゃないかなと期待してるところです僕もね英会話普段こう一言一言一言一言でやり取りしていくところが多いので相手がねダラララララって何センテンスもね喋られると全然理解できないというのが僕の英会話能力だったんですねでもトイックでリスニングの練習をいっぱいしたのでそれが聞き取れるようになってたら嬉しいなって感じですということでやってみようと思いますレッツゴーハロー Hello Hello、uh, My name is Eki and I'm your online English tutor today、um, How may I call you? Okay My name is Ash Nice to meet you Nice to meet you Ash Sun Yeah Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Thank you. I can hear you very well. No.、Um, how are you today? Yes, I'm good, bad.、Hmm. Almost Japanese people can't go out of our home. Of course. Oh, yeah, course. so I'm pretty, pretty good.、And、are you working from home? <laughs> yes, I'm working from home. Okay. Okay. And And tell me, which,、uh, which prefecture,、um, where do you live at the moment? Prefecture, I'm, I'm living in Kanagawa Prefecture, you know, next to Tokyo. Okay, yep,、um, I've had a lot of classes from Kanagawa. Oh, cool, right? Yeah. So I, I, see, I know Kanagawa. Yeah, interestingly, a lot of, a lot of people in Kanagawa. So,、nice. yes, so I, I do know where that is. Okay. And,、um, Okay, so how long have you been working from home now?、Uh, I'm working、uh, in, in my home、uh, almost seven years ago, from seven years ago. Oh, so you've, so you've always been working from home, is that correct? Yeah. So before, before, this, before the state of emergency, you, you, were, you were working from home? Yes, I'm, I'm working in my home、uh, from seven years ago. Years ago,、uh, so before emergency and after emergency, same life cycle. Right, I was going to say, so no change for you.、Unless、yeah, yeah. But, I, but I don't. So you're used to. Yeah, yeah. But I don't go to、uh, with, meet my friends or some, some party or some lunch or dinner. I can't go out. So I have a recommendation if you do want to. Still meet up with friends, well, not meet up with friends, still communicate and have like、um, socialize, but at home,、mm-hmm. there's an、uh, application called House Party. House Party or, or house, house, party. house Party or what? What, what is your question? Application on your phone.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, yes,、um, if you still want to talk with friends and let's say have a drink、yeah. um, at home. Mm-hmm. You can, there's this app on your phone and you can communicate while you're drinking. So that's、um, something I've been using to、uh, socialize yes, while you're yes, at yes. home. Yes, so if you, instead of drinking by yourself, you can drink with other people but on, on your phone. On, on my phone, Zoom or something, online、yeah. meeting. Or, yeah, I, yeah. I, did, I did online party. But it was so.、Yeah. Mm, not bad, but I want to meet directly. 
Right. Yeah. Yes, I think we all do. Ashton, I think we all would love to do that. So, I, yes, hopefully um, the restrictions will ease soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I think what what it is. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Have you heard of that phrase? What well, is this? What is this mark? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. I don't yeah, know what it is. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. So it just means hopefully things. It means hopefully it will work. It will get better. That's what I mean. Uh huh. Hopefully, yeah. it will work. Work or what? Hopefully things will get better. Uh huh. Getting better. It just means like hope, hoping things will be better soon. Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's, so it's something we use back in the UK quite a lot. Fingers crossed. Uh -huh. um, Ashton. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I had a look at your request and it says that you would like a free conversation. Class. Yeah. I. So I'm a. My work is a YouTuber. You know. You're a YouTuber. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, I post I I post m my movie uh, with my how to learn English. Okay. Yes, I I, I have to. So, I, oh, so you're. Uh, uh, could you? Uh, Sorry, carry on. Yeah. Uh, uh, may I, may I post this uh, this lessons video on my YouTube? Um. Yes. If uh, you want to. Yes. Right, really? Thank you. No I I I want to post the this lessons. Uh, who get on. Your face and your voice. Sure. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. It's not a problem. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's interesting. Um, yeah. I've not met a YouTuber yet, so um, oh, really? I have to ask. <laughs> um, how long have you been a YouTuber? Um, um, one, almost one year. Wow. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> So, um, um, many Japanese uh, are under the emergency. So, yeah. everyone want to some someone want to start learn English. So I I I, I will post situation of English class. So I will help them. So? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. How we? Hi. No problem. Um, How is that in England? Uh, everyone don't go out your home. Um, are people going outside at the moment? Well, okay. So, I my story is a little bit different. Um, so, I'm actually not in the UK right now. Um, uh -huh. And I haven't lived in the UK mm -hmm. for a long time, for many years now. Um, so my story at the moment mm -hmm. is um, I am. So I was on I I was holidaying in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So I was trekking for two weeks. So I did a really big trek, and then when it finished, mm -hmm. the next day Nepal went into lockdown. Uh -huh. So since since then, I've been stuck in Nepal because there's no more there's no flights uh -huh. out of Kathmandu. Mm -hmm. um, so no one can leave the country unless your embassy has organised a flight back to your country. Now, um, my plan was originally mm -hmm. I sh about two and a half weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, I had a flight to Japan. Mm -hmm. But that flight was cancelled. Wow, so that was cancelled. So uh -huh. I was meant to fly to Fukuoka. Wow, mm -hmm. I was going to fly to Fukuoka. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but uh, no, no planes out of Nepal, uh -huh. and uh, the Japanese government mm -hmm. are not allowing any visitors to enter Japan uh -huh. until yes, yes. May the sixth. Yes, yes. So there's no. I so I can't go to Japan mm -hmm. at the moment. So um, I'm stuck here until they ease the restrictions and start flying again. That's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm stuck. 
Uh, where 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 are so you now? Where are you now? The place called Kathmandu in Nepal. Kathmandu uh -huh. is the capital. Are you are you in Kathmandu, Kathmandu now? Correct. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So in Kathmandu. Uh -huh. Yeah. Kathmandu, I know, I know. So, I, I, wa I want to go Kathmandu. It's my, it's my dream. Yes, well, it's, it's, uh, I mean, Kathmandu is okay as a city, um, mm -hmm. but I prefer Pokhara. Pokhara mm -hmm. is a nicer place. Yeah, yeah, I know. Pokhara, yeah. Pokhara. Uh, Pokhara, that's where a lot of people do the tracks from. Uh -huh. um, it's a much more prettier place. Uh -huh. um, it's um, you've got the lake, and obviously you're very close to the big treks as well, Ashland. So um, I wanted to stay in Pokhara, mm -hmm. but uh, because my laptop was in Kathmandu, mm -hmm. I had to come back. So um, this is what the reason why I came back, so I can teach. Mm -hmm. um, without my laptop, I could I can't teach, so yeah. I had to come back. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was the situation, Iceland. Wow. Um, so, how long? How long are yeah. you staying in Pokhara now? So I was only in Pokhara for about five days, uh -huh. and then I got I got back to Kathmandu about three weeks ago. Wow. Uh, uh, so, do you mean? Uh, do you mean you went? You went to from England to Pokhara and to. Japan, but uh, so okay. Uh, sure, I probably need to explain my story. So, as I said, I haven't lived in the UK for a long time. Uh -huh. So, before Nepal, uh -huh. I was in uh, Malaysia for two Malaysia. years. Malaysia, wow. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I was living in a place called Penang. Uh -huh. uh, do you know Penang? Penang? Penang. I'll type it for you. Penang. Is Penang a uh, Malaysia city? Penang, Penang. It's an Penang island. Yeah, it's an island just. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I heard it. I was, yeah. So I was living there because mm -hmm. uh, I want. I was do. I was doing Muay Thai kickboxing training. Wow. Are you a trainer yeah. or, or a trainee? I I have never done it before, mm -hmm. but I wanted to try it. Wow. So, um, that that was my first time. Mm -hmm. It it was tough. Mm -hmm. It was definitely uh, uh, the word I use grueling. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I got fit very quickly. Grueling, what is grueling? Grueling, very tough, tough, very tough. Grueling. Yeah. So yeah, it tough. was. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can give you a meaning if you want. <laughs> really, it just means incredibly tough. Um, it just means very tough, tough, tiring, and demanding. Tiring and yeah. demanding. That's what it means. Yeah. 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 So, so that's what it meant. Um, so mm -hmm. I did that, and then before Malaysia, mm -hmm. I was living in Vietnam for about ten months. Ten months for for what? Um, I was just living, and I was teaching online. So I did so three months. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So are you a online so, right, right English teacher, and so you went to go around the world for each um, uh, uh, month or year or. Kind of. I've been teaching online now for nearly a year. Uh -huh. So I started doing that in Vietnam. Uh -huh. um, so that's when I did it. Um, so I was living in a place. So I lived in Hanoi for three months. Uh -huh, I know. And then I, I lived in Hanoi. Da Nang. Uh -huh. Da Nang for seven months. Uh -huh. uh, not, not online or directly in the class? Um, I did a little bit in Hanoi. Uh -huh. I was mainly teaching online. Mm -hmm. from DMM um, mm -hmm. in, in Da Nang, but I did have some direct classes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was teaching at a centre, mm -hmm. um, but that was a very casual, that was casual, that was when they needed someone to come in, mm -hmm. so in Da Nang, so I, I maybe done like 
10 hours a month mm -hmm. with this and so I did a little bit of that uh, mm -hmm. with kids so I was very young kids mm -hmm. I was teaching so about the year you are now no, Nepal Katmand you you can't go out as a country no no I'm stuck um, so I have to wait <laughs> Um, I have to wait uh, until they ease the lockdown, mm -hmm. but no, nobody knows. So that's the situation at the moment, Ashton. So uh -huh. wow. that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. So tell me, tell me something about your background. So you've been a YouTuber for a year. Yeah. What What were you doing before that? Uh, I was a blogger or a writer with my internet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'm a writer and blogger and YouTuber, or or is my job now. Yeah. So I can work my home in my home. Okay. Yes. That's interesting. And what kind of things were you writing about? Mm, my blog is about about gadget or. Some smartphone or some laptop computer, or how to learn English right. or fitness. Many category, but my YouTube channel is on only how to learn English. Right. Yes. Okay. And how do you have lots of subscribers? Do you have a lot of followers? No. So so, <laughs> not many. So, I wanna more subscribe, to... yeah, more subscriber or more follower. So you're trying to build it, okay? Yes. Interesting. Okay. And in your opinion, do you think there there is in in your country? Do you think a lot of people want to learn English? Yeah, I. That's a. Uh, I hope it. We in our final minute, <laughs> so I will just recap today's lesson. So. Today, we just talked about my story and background and your background as well. Yes, yes. And um, we've learned words and phrases like fingers crossed and grueling. Um, I think we had a really good lesson today. We've got really good English. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely very good English. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to keep on improving, I do always recommend audiobooks. That's a good way of learning new words uh -huh. and learning the correct pronunciation. Uh -huh. Audiobooks? Yeah, I reckon. Audiobook? Audiobooks. Yeah. Words. Yeah. Okay. What title of audiobook? Uh, well, if you look on Amazon or oh. Audible, there's yeah. many books in, books you can choose from. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'd recommend that. I like but, audiobook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but a really good way of improving. But uh, I just want to say mm -hmm. it, it's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you for booking. And look, I hope to see you again very soon, Hassan. Okay. Yeah. Well, you take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. No worries. You take care. All right. Bye now, Hassan. See you. See you soon. Bye bye. レッスン終了しましたよいしょよいしょニッキーねニッキーじゃないエッキーねエッキーねいやレッスン終了しましたいやなんかね動画でも出てたと思うんですけど汗めっちゃかきますねみんなこうやって汗かくのかなやっぱりいきなり画面越しに英語で喋ろうってなると聞き取れたかっていうとね全然聞き取れなかったんだけどまあ言ってることは分かったなって感じですね僕が言って聞いて聞き取れたレベルのことをテロップで流したので、まあ、それ全然聞き取れてない部分もあったと思いますでも大体言ってることは分かったかなっていう感じですねまあトイック前と比べるとねよくまあちょっと正直分からないという感じですかねやっぱりトイックで出てくる文法っていうのはすごいこう細かくてね品種とかね動詞の形とかすごい通ってくるんですけど会話になると
、うん、そうだねとかこう思うよとかこれはこうだねこれはこうだねってパパパパって出てこないといけないんでそういうのはねそういうトレーニングをちゃんとしなきゃいけないなと思いましたねいやまあ久しぶりにオンライン会してね結構疲れるというか、うん、なんか、まあ、全然わかんねえなって感じですねモチベーションは出ますね英語の勉強に関するトイックとかだとね点数点数ってなるんですけど英会話だとあこの人が言ってることもっとわかりたいなと思ってこの人はこういう人生を生きてるんだとかってねさっきのねエッキーも結構特殊な生き方してる人だったと思ったんで、まあ、こうやって英会話するとあこの人が言ってること聞き取れるようになりたいなって僕のことをこうやって伝えたいなってモチベーションが湧いてくるのでねやっぱり英語の勉強を始めるにはねすごいこうすごいいいなと思いました。今日ね、僕これ始めるとき結構ね、嫌だったんですよね。嫌だったっていうか、うめんどくさいなぁと思ったんですけどね、英語勉強その、この内容からめんどくさいなと思ったんですけど、やっぱりこう、ちょっと一歩踏み出して頑張ると、なんていうかね、あ、やっぱ英語っていいなぁ、みたいな、世の中いろんな人と繋がるためのツールだなと、この人が言ってることもわかるようになる可能性があるんだなと思うとね、やっぱいいなぁと思いましたね。ということで、これからも英語の勉強に関してね、動画を上げていきますので、チャンネル登録とかしてくれると嬉しいです。またね。最後までご視聴いただき、ありがとうございます。えー、この動画がいいと思った方はチャンネル登録グッドボタンよろしくお願いしますさらにタロログではですね LINE で参加できるオープンチャットも用意してます英語学習している方やタロログのことをもっと応援したいと思った方はぜひ概要欄のリンクから参加してみてください、えー、他の動画もねぜひご覧ください、えー、というわけで See you later! ありがとう